D playing his first official game in 561 days, scored 22 points, helping lead the Nets to a win. Time to hear from KD. He spoke with the media, including our Michael Grady, just moments ago. Kevin, it's been a long wait for this moment. I, I'm curious how everything unfolded and how it matched up with your expectation on how it would go, not just your performance, but how you guys collectively looked as a team. Yeah, we were... I think we uh, had a, a solid first start. I mean, um, we've been uh, emphasizing the defensive side of the basketball uh, all training camp and uh, come out and uh, had them shoot 37% from the field, 30% from the three. That's a good start. So we want to build on it. And, you know, I was looking forward to coming out here and getting a W, you know, and I'm glad we was able to uh, finish the job. Greg Logan, Newsday. All right. Kevin, when you look at that dominant first quarter, 40 points, both you and Kyrie on fire, uh, what did that say about just how eager you guys are to get this journey started and how ready you were for it? I just think we uh, we came out with a good plan on the defensive side of the ball, which ignited us on the offensive end. And, you know, uh, I know everybody's excited about this new era of the Nets, you know, but as players, we're just trying to take it a day at a time and focus on our jobs individually and trying to bring them to the group as best as we can. And I think everybody did a solid job of that tonight. Brian Lewis, New York Post. Now, after, I guess, two preseason games and then this game, I'm just curious, Kevin, what you might have, I don't know, been curious to learn and what have you learned either about your own conditioning or the way the defense has come along cohesion-wise? What have you been able to learn so far out of this? I'm just learning my teammates' tendencies, where they like the ball and, you know, just – you know, their routines, just getting to know my teammates a little bit more. And and, and, and um, I think each game as we continue to build, um, you know, we'll get more and more comfortable with each other, you know. So I think that's the that's probably the, the thing I learned the most is, you know, trying to learn each guy's, you know, favorite spot on the floor and what they like to do. And, you know, so that's going to take some time to get everybody downloaded. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey, Kevin, when, when you're able to, come out or well, as a team when you're able to come out and, and hang 40 points on an opponent in the first quarter I, I mean one does it kind of feel like you have them on the ropes er, that early and, and what's it like to have a team on the ropes so early and still kind of know this game isn't over and you kind of have to continue to apply the pressure yeah I mean obviously scoring 40 in the first quarter is uh you know is what we would love to have every game but it's not going to happen but I think our defense there's a reason why we was able to get some good points on the offensive side of the ball. And uh, playing against the Warriors, obviously, you know um, that you can't ever relax on them, you know, especially with three-point shooting and the ball movement and the team defense. So, you know, it was good that we held the lead and uh, we was able to go out there and get a nice W. Malika Andrews, ESPN. Kevin, correct me if I'm mischaracterizing this, but it seems to me that you've kind of described every preseason game, every practice is sort of this building block and you're trying to build and you've told us you want to play your best basketball season much further down the road and, and towards the end of the season in the playoffs. What was the building block that you felt that you put in place tonight in this game? I mean, just another experience, you know, underneath the belt. You know, I think more and more of these experiences with my teammates in the new environment, um, all of us is in a new environment. I think it's only going to make us better as we move forward, you know. So we just want to keep plugging away every single day and, um, you know, each player get better individually and we'll see what happens after that. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, Kevin, I'm curious what you thought about the ball movement tonight. You talked about learning your teammates and, and their tendencies, but you guys didn't look like a team that was playing together for the first time officially. Uh, cause we, this is not the first time we played together. I mean, we had practices and preseason and all the off season, most of the guys were together. So, um, I, you know, that's, that stuff, uh, definitely helps, you know, being, being around each other every single day, no matter if we're playing games or not. But, um, out on the floor, I mean, we, we was able to, you know, play off our principles on offense and defensive side of the ball and help each other out and get a good win. Vincent Goodwill, Yahoo. Hey, KD, uh, I'm just curious. The last time you were you were playing, you were probably among the top two or three all-around players in basketball, and it seems to be kind of forgotten about just the complete part of your game. Are you anxious to get back to that or to display that part of your game even 
though people may have been focused on your physical limitations, are you focused on the complete part of your game showing that? Uh, I don't think I got to show anybody anything. I mean, I'm just going to come out there and just hoop, you know, and you know, whatever people gravitate to, to is what they like. I mean, a lot of people like that I can score the basketball, but I feel like the core basketball fans have seen me do a lot of different things, and my teammates have seen me do a lot of different things on the floor. So I don't feel like I got to prove myself, but I want to go out there and, and be able to do whatever coach needs me to do out on the floor, whether it's guard, score, or make passes. You know, I've just got to be ready for anything, like I always say. But, uh, you know, any given night, I can showcase my full, you know, uh, skill set. Joe Varden. Hey, Kevin. Um, I'm wondering if there's anything you would mind sharing with us about the moment in the locker room afterwards with Steve Nash getting his first, uh, his first win. Did you guys dump any water on him or anything? Nah, nah. Um, just congratulated him and, and told him to bring his ass back to practice tomorrow. Bruce Beck. Kevin, was there ever a moment uh, when you were able to reflect tonight and say, I'm back, or was it all business? Yeah, it's just mainly how can we get the job done? I mean, I know, I know there's a lot of emotions and a lot of, you know, I got so many calls and texts about, you know, playing again. For me, I was just like, yo, what, I got to focus on the first possession, for, you know, and then try to get through that and then move on each possession. So I try not to make too much, of, too big of a deal out this whole thing and, you know, realize I've been playing this game since I was eight years old. So I just got to revert back to what I know.